What's going on? It's Jason Hook here from Five Finger Death Punch, and you're tuned into Guitar Parts Magazine. Keep it metal. The first thing I want to talk about is one of my favorite licks. It's kind of like an old blues lick, and I think it, I don't know how you describe it, but it's kind of like. It has to do with sort of. Uh, um, alternating, alternate picking on and off the first two strings. It's kind of a neat little, a neat little finger exercise that I like to do all the time. Kind of get like a little rhythm going, you know. Now I suppose I could play that a little slower for you now, huh? Don't really know how to explain it other than I think if I play it slow enough for you, you might be able to pick it up yourself. But anyway. I'm kind of backstroking that, the second string. So that's an upstroke on the second string. So the, it's like down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That's one of my little licks that I like to play over and over and over. Let's see, and here's another one. Um, this is kind of a shred exercise that utilizes, it's kind of like string skipping. So I go, for, uh, the third string and the first string. So basically. It's not that difficult, but it's a little trickier if you want to get it going really fast. So it's just basically the, this pattern. All right, I have another lick. Okay, this is a kind of a wacky lick. It's kind of like a descending run that kind of covers all the strings. And let's take this one in, uh, in E, because we're in E, right? So check this out. Let's try to slow that right down so you can maybe learn this at home. I'm not very good at slowing stuff down. You play it for so many years going at warp speed that when actually you have to slow it down, it becomes a little, it becomes like jams your brain a little bit. It's a nice lick though, if you, can, if you can pick it up. The first single was called Lift Me Up. And um, <clears throat> everything we do is in baritone tuning. This guitar is an A440, so it's, it would be the same positions, but you'd have to imagine we're playing it, you know, two and a half steps down or whatever B ends up being. 
So the lift me up is basically, it's very simple. And it goes. So that's kind of the opening, very, very straightforward, very simple. And then the, the, the main lick goes. basically the riff. That's just a chromatic. It's very straightforward. Then, then what happens, the, uh, the pre-chorus pre goes Pattern of the pre-chorus. Now let's take a look at the chorus figure. So basically, it goes like this. I suppose I could slow that down. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's up here playing fifths right above the uh, E string. Second half goes. That's it, basically. And then back into uh, three strand standard song. That's basically the nuts and bolts of the song. The solo has a bit of a crazy stretch in it. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but this is how the pattern for the solo goes. It's pretty wacky, but here goes, here's how it goes. Okay. That's the first. 
that's the first pattern. So it's a hell of a stretch. So uh, I want to prepare your hand by sitting on it for a few minutes. So that's basically it. So. So the solo goes like this. That's it. The, the second part of that comes back to this figure. So you'd never be able to play that if I hadn't scooped this wood out here. Because even with this scooped out section of the body here, I'm still cramming right up against the wood. So that's kind of where that whole idea came from. Get rid of some of the body wood there. But that's the solo. That's all she wrote. This is Jason Hook signing off from Paris, France. Thank you for tuning in and watching Guitar Parts. We'll see you later.